Good morning. You chewing? Yeah, I got food in my <laughs> mouth. Got you mid chew. <laughs> How are sales looking? We have two pages of stuff to ship out. Oh, nice. That's good. Yeah. Sweet. Looking at money. So it looks like we got a total of 31 sales over the weekend for just under $3,700. So why don't we do this so it's easier on you because there's a bunch of stuff to ship. Do you want to start grabbing coffee machines? Yes. And I will start picking... The vintage tees? Yeah. Hockey. Cool. Some Ariat boots sold for 40 bucks. Here they are. Ariat boots, $40 sale. Some Colhan Chukka boots sold for $31. These are them here. These sold for $32 and they're in like okay condition, but no laces on the right pair. Good sale on these Nike Air Rift shoes. They sold for $125. Pretty interesting pair of shoes, but yeah, $125 for this pair. Some Coach heel boots sold for $55 plus shipping, 77. Coach boots. These are kind of cool, actually. Oh, like, what is that? Clippy, little buckle clippy. Yeah, those are cool. Vintage James Bond 007 t-shirt sold for $125. That one is easy to find because it's orange. <laughs> Pretty cool graphic. It's from the movie Stunt Crew. So this shirt was given to like the stunt crew. The world is not enough. 125 bucks. A pair of Keen Sierra Oxfords sold for $35. Here they are. Some Keen Sierra Oxfords, Keen brand. So far, like all dark shoes. Isn't that funny? <laughs> They're all like black leather or darker shoes. A pair of Uggs sold for 25 plus 10 shipping. So 35 bucks shipped. Some Ugg boots, another dark pair. That must be the style right now. Look at that, all of them. <laughs> really good brand. Some Fry Woman's Tall Boots sold for 55 plus $15 shipping. And I think, I think that's them right up there on top. Yeah. Fry brand boots, keeping with the dark theme of the shoes. <laughs> it's so weird. Has that ever happened before? This vintage Ace Freely shirt sold for $125 plus shipping, so $131 shipped. There it is right there. Pretty cool graphic. That's the front, that's the back. I'm a 2000 man. We've got a vintage Figment Disney shirt that sold for $115. On that cool Mickey Ink vintage tag, extra large Figment shirt. This one had a nice big hole in the sleeve too still sold for $115. That's actually a good point because a lot of people don't realize that even with holes and stains sometimes, that's kind of expected when you buy vintage t-shirts. So just because they have like a little hole in them, that's a big hole in this case, but just because they have a couple flaws doesn't mean that the items won't sell. It just means take good pictures, show the flaws, describe them and let people know, but don't let it discourage you from buying the item sometimes because they're still, you know, they're still worth money. That was a bad fold. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a bad you fold. like tried to fold it and then it just flopped all the way back over. <laughs> there, that's better. Nice. My childhood here, Dragon Ball Z vintage 1998 shirt sold for $80. It's funny, this was actually my personal t-shirt, but I just didn't like the way it fit me anymore. And I think I paid like 40 bucks for it back in the day. So I still doubled my money on it. Nice little Dragon Ball Z vintage shirt. And then last but not least, this thing sold, printer. So this is the one that I really wanted to talk about today because I don't know if you guys saw, I'll pop up the clip, but I found this at a thrift store recently for $15. How much is this printer? I picked it up. Oh, it's $30. 30? Yeah, so this would be 15? Yep. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna start making a pile at the front. Do that. Okay, cool. And then it sold over the weekend for, I think it was $300. I think it was like just under three. Yeah, two hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-seven cents. So what I thought we could do with this is um, we'll ship it, and we're gonna ship it directly in the box, just like this. It's already packaged nicely, it's brand new, so no big deal there. And we put in the listing that that's the way that it's gonna be shipped, so people are aware that that's how they're gonna get it. Anyway, we'll ship it, tell you how much it costs to ship, and then we can go over um, the fees and everything. But I wanted to show this one to show you guys that there's still stuff to be found at thrift stores. If you know what you're looking for, and if you're not afraid to buy 
larger items, right? So $15 into 300 bucks, even after fees, even after shipping, this is still gonna be a really good profit. And Callie is prepping the coffee machines? Prepping. We sold five of these? Five. One, two, three, four, five of those models. And then we sold two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 of that model and two of these little guys. All right, so it looks like it's going UPS ground. Is that right, Kelly? Yes. UPS ground. 1676 with signature confirmation. Nice, very good. We yeah. put SigCon on everything that we sell for over $150 on eBay. Gotta be careful. People be stealing stuff from your porches. All right, so let's break down these numbers. Paid, $15. <laughs> Sold for $300. Shipping, $16.76. eBay fees, $21.04. And then it was promoted. So an eBay promotion fee of $15 gives us a profit of $232.20. That's the profit on this item. Paid $15, profited $232. Not a bad buy. Not at all. And that's why I wanted to show this particular item because this isn't this isn't like an abnormal thing that happens. We can go to thrift stores, we can go to garage sales and find stuff like this. I mean, I would say at least once a week. If you have the time to go out, let's say you have an hour, even an hour a week to go out, you will find stuff that you can sell for a decent amount of profit. So thrifting is not dead. Garage sales are not dead. There's still decent money to be made. I mean, think about it. If you went out once a week and found something that gave you $200 profit a week, that's two, four, six, eight hundred $800 a month in profit that you could be making with very minimal investment. And that's why we still like to show thrifting and garage sales and stuff because that's how we started on eBay. It's how we started as resellers. And I think that that's how a lot of people out there start. And I think it's how a lot of people will continue to, to be. There's nothing wrong with doing that forever and ever. Making a few extra hundred bucks a month, nothing wrong with that. If you wanna grow it into an actual reselling business, you can, but again, there's nothing wrong with making a little bit of extra income. And this is one way you can do it. Go to thrift stores, go check out garage sales, see if you can find stuff. This one I literally just scanned with the eBay app and I saw that it was selling, so. Get out there and hustle, guys. Find some good stuff. Oh, by the way, I know someone's gonna say something, so I wanna show you. I wasn't just wasting labels. We have a whole stack of bad labels that don't work with the printer, so yeah. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I wanted to continue this video. Yesterday I showed you a bunch of our sales and I showed you how we found that printer and then sold it on eBay. But today I thought we could continue on and I could show you again how we find stuff. So we're at a thrift store. We're gonna go into the thrift store and see if we can find some more stuff to flip on eBay. Allie's with me. Hi, babe. Yeah, hey. What's up? Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see what this Goodwill has. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Your eyes are so green in this light though. Look at them. Flipping through the t-shirt rack, still my favorite place to start. I'm just gonna flip through and see what I can find. We got here a little Kenny Chesney. This is a newer one, 2008. Little Chaps Ralph Lauren vintage shirt. Nothing, 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 nothing. What is this, Rat Fink? This is an interesting, interesting graphic. It's actually kind of cool. Big, bold, bright graphic, newer t-shirt, but Kind of a cool graphic. I think this one's dated. Let me see, it says, I hate golf. I hate golf, nice shot, I love golf. <laughs> uh, dated, fun tee, 1997. So this is a vintage t-shirt. I've never seen this tag before, but um, it is a vintage t-shirt. I'm not gonna pick it up, um, but yeah, kind of cool shirt. I think I see what could be a clicky IBM keyboard. No, it's a gateway, vintage gateway keyboard. I don't know what the value of these are, so I will look it up on eBay and I will see if it's worth it. $3.98, model number 7,985. This is a cool vintage Tommy Hilfiger short sleeve button up shirt. Really nice piece. Um, I'm not gonna pick it up again just because the value isn't there, but it's cool to find like a different style Tommy Hilfiger vintage piece. This is another brand that used to sell really well for us. The brand is Nat Nast. I don't know how it's doing now. We haven't sold it in a while, but this one has a huge stain on it anyway. So I'm gonna pass on it. But yeah, Nat Nast, 100% silk shirts. They used to sell for great money. Oh, I see a vintage pro player tag. Price, $10. That's uh, a Green Bay shirt. Green Bay pullover. It is a nice one. It's embroidered, but for $10, 
I'm gonna leave it behind. I found these really cool vintage Reebok shorts. I feel like vintage shorts are gonna start making a huge comeback. These are cool, but the lining has been cut out and the elastic is just gone on them. Um, if they were in perfect condition, I would definitely pick them up. Only $4. Okay, so I didn't end up buying anything at the Goodwill today. Um, there was some stuff, but damaged or you know not enough profit i think it's better to be picky and not have stale inventory than to just buy willy-nilly and uh have stuff sitting around and have your investment tied up so nothing today it's how it is sometimes um i'm gonna go to probably another one or two more stores and see if i can at least find a couple things i'm gonna go to are you to those stores with you oh sweet good because we're only in this one car together i mean you don't have to i can drop you off at home uh, uh, what? I know you're filming a video. No, I want to go. Hashtag Allie Crafts now at 3,000 subscribers. What? I get to shop for myself. 3,000 subscribers. I can say I'm looking for craft stuff, but actually shop for myself. You need to go make <laughs> videos. Car is charging up and the Goodwill is right over there. I just found this pair of Beats headphones. Um, they're Beats Executive headphones. I don't see any cables for them, but they're only $4 and they seem like they're in okay condition. So um they usually sell like any beats headphones will sell for some money so i will probably pick them up and take a chance to see if i can take them home and test them out to make sure that they're working but i do like digging through like the loose electronics area because sometimes i'll find some good stuff it's kind of a cool orvis brand mug it's like one of those travel mugs that disney mug yeah that's cool spell out disney mug made in usa frosted glass. We like to look for the Starbucks location mugs. Those are the ones that some of them do really, really well, but you never know. I found this pair of Brooks Launch 3 shoes. They are in, seems to be great condition, $7. They don't have the insoles, but because they're in such good condition, I still think we could sell them. We've sold the same pair of shoes many times before for $35 plus, so. I probably will still pick them up. All right, so I picked up the Beats by Dre headphones. You know, we've done really well with those in the past. Funny, <laughs> funny. That is funny. That's, That's funny. funny, yeah. So I'll take them home and test them. They're just battery operated, so I can just toss some batteries in them and test them. $4 gamble into probably at least like 35 to 40 bucks on them. What else did I get? I got some, oh, the shoes. shoes. The Brooks Launch 3, I think, shoes. Uh, those flip really easy for us. They're in good condition, and those will sell for probably $35. Yeah. Always check the condition of the bottoms of shoes before you buy them. Always check the condition of your alley every day. Yeah. How is it Has today? your alley been fed? One. Has your alley had caffeine? Two. True. Is your alley happy? And if not, check back Smacker. one and two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm back home. Um, I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up these quick erasers. These are literally the exact same thing as those Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, but they're only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up a couple boxes of these. And what I'm gonna try to do is clean off this uh, Sharpie on the bottom of these shoes here, because the price is on there. It says $6.96. These things are great though for like cleaning the soles. Shoes, you can get all the dirt off of like, let me show you this quick. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's kind of dirty there. If I just scrub at it, it literally comes clean really, really well. So it's good for that. And then most of the time it will get the Sharpie off the bottom. So let's see if I can get it off the bottom. You guys can see it's starting to come off there. All right, I wasn't able to get it 100% off, but at least it's a, it's a lot less. And I can still use the eraser to kind of clean up the, the dirt spots too. So and usually we won't take a lot of time cleaning up shoes unless they're worth the money. Like I'm not gonna spend 20, 30 minutes here cleaning up a pair of shoes that's only gonna sell for 35 to $40. Uh, but you know on a higher end pair you can take the time to do it and with something like this It doesn't take more than two minutes just to wipe the soles down and then get that price tag off So the last thing I need to do is test out these headphones. Um, I believe there's just a cap on one of the sides right there That pops right off it Takes two AAA batteries. So let's test them out. Pop those in there Let's see what we got On. Ooh, we got a green light. That's a good sign. So I'm just trying to put them into pairing mode so I can see if they'll connect. 
Okay, I get why I wasn't able to turn the Bluetooth on. These are not Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> They're wired. They're wired headphones. I need to get an aux cable to test them out. I finally found an aux cable in Allison's car. Yay. Plug it in. I don't hear any music. Are you on? Battery's dead now. The light's not coming on. Just trying to figure out, dude. Give me the batteries. OG beats. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Careful. OG beats. That's really loud. Hey. Dude, those actually sound really good. I mean, they're beats. They're executive beats. With what does that mean? Noise canceling. Oh my god, those are the AirPods of beats? What year did those things drop, dude? Dude, I paid $4 at Goodwill for them. Oh yeah? Yeah. Dude, aren't those things like $700 retail? Nah, it sounds good. They're, I thought they were like 300 bucks for sure. I might keep these as a backup. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Hey Tony, you're in the vid now. They work. They work. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye guys. Like, subscribe. Bye.